Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamonds for Thursday, September 26, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We got one NFL, one college football Thursday night coming your way and three MLB games, two of them daytime action. So not a lot of waiting around, guys. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB college football NFL picks are for tonight for this upcoming weekend. All is welcome in the comments below. It does help out the algorithm. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we're talking NFL first up here, 815 Eastern, 515 Pacific kick. It is an NFC East division battle between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York football giants, 45 being the total. Cowboys minus five in the hook as the road favorite. Both teams come in game under 500, one and two on the season. Cowboys not looking good the last two weeks off back to back home losses. The defense has given up more than 70 points the last two weeks in the NFL. That is horrendous to the Ravens and the Saints. Now, something to the positive here with the Cowboys. They've won 13 of the last 14 in this series. These two teams playing a bunch both being in the NFC East. They've won seven in a row. But I think the Giants catching five and a half are worth a look here, guys. I mean, first off, it's a short week. The Cowboys with travel. I don't like that spot for Dallas. And the Giants, last week, they were six and a half point road dogs to the Browns, and they win outright. The defense held Cleveland to under three and a half yards per play. Hey, I think they're playing better defensive football right now. And we get five in the hook in our pocket with the home team on a short week. Yeah, let's go with the guys. Giants plus the five and a hook against the Cowboys to lead us off. We also got college football, 730 Eastern on ESPN. It's Army in Temple in a new AAC conference game here with Army entering uh, the conference. Minus 12 to as high as minus 13 as the road favorite. 46 being the total. Army comes in 3-0 and on the season, looking strong. Temple just 1-3 so far this year. Now, some positives toward the Temple Owls. 17-7 against the spread against military academies since the year 2000. I don't like going back that far, but I did kind of find that interesting. Uh, you, you know, in college football, so much changes year to year. But more relevant is their quarterback, Evan Simmons. He's a transfer from Rutgers, five touchdowns, zero picks last week in an upset bid against Utah State. That's towards the positive. But I think more relevant for this matchup, guys, is Temple's already faced Navy this year, and they lost by four touchdowns. I mean, this is the 125th rushing defense in college football, and they are going up against an Army team that's really going to look to run it down their throat, running that triple option. An Army team, 3-0 straight up, 3-0 against the spread, a top 10 defense letting up less than 10 points per game. Now, it is a double-digit road favorite. I like Army here, but laying doubles on the road short week, hey, it's a military academy. I think they get it done. Uh, but what's keeping it from being a best bet on the show is kind of that slower tempo. Are they really going to look to cover at the end if it is close? I think they run away with it. I think it's something similar to Navy beating Temple. So we're going Army minus 12. We're laying the 12 here with the Army Black Knights over the Temple Owls. We got day action in baseball. Best bet for the show. It's going to be first game up here. 1235 Eastern, 935 Pacific. It's the Milwaukee Brewers. First place in the NL Central at the Pittsburgh Pirates. Last place, NL Central. Mitch Keller going for the Pirates. Aaron Savale going for the Brew Crew. Brewers, minus 115 road favorites, total of eight. What I like about this one, guys, Mitch Keller, the starter for the Pirates, his last five starts, a seven ERA. He's given up 36 hits in his last 24 innings pitched, along with 21 runs. So he's been getting knocked around, and sure enough, you look at his velocity metrics. He was throwing 95 earlier this season. Now he's only throwing 92. Some rust on that arm, or maybe not some rust, just some fatigue on that right arm. And we're looking to fade Mitch Keller here. So that's going to put us on the Brewers. Aaron Savali, their starter, two starts versus the Pirates lineup. One earned run in each. Great starts there. They've won two straight coming into uh, Wednesday night baseball. And Pittsburgh has lost six of their last eight. All of that putting us on the Brewers. Best bet for the show, laying the 15 cents. I think the Brewers get it done in PNC. Next one up, just a couple hours later, we get Texas and Oakland. AL West battle here. JT Ginn going for the Athletics. Kumar Rocker 
going for the Rangers. Eight and a half being the total pick and price tag, minus 105 on each side. Rocker, the rookie for the Rangers, 24-year-old, third start of his MLB career. He's given up three runs in seven innings, but six walks. So six walks in seven innings. That's not all that great at this level of baseball. He's up against Ginn here, the 25-year-old out of Mississippi State, the former Bulldog. Last time out, five innings, just one earned against the Yankees. Great start there. And he's a guy with home road splits to the positive in this matchup. When pitching in the Coliseum, he has a three flat ERA. When he's on the road, over a seven ERA. Well, hey, he's at home here. I think that works to his uh, advantage. So we are listing Ginn as the starter. We're jumping on the athletics at the pick em price tag over the Rangers. One game left, guys. If you're interested in premium picks, check them out. Drew Martin, experts page, wagertalk.com. Got a lot of specials available, 30 days free if you buy three months. Also, uh, 5% max limit going this weekend in Sunday NFL. Uh, Plus some big game action in MLB and college football as well, guys. So wagertalk.com, experts page, Drew Martin. And like always, if you could comment below, helps out the algorithm, looking to grow the show, smash that like button. I'll be in there chiming it up with you guys throughout the day. Last game up, we've talked about both of, uh, well, we've talked about a bunch of this series here. It's a big one in the NL West. San Diego Padres, LA Dodgers. Joe Musgrove going for the Friars. Walker Bueller for the Dodgers. Dodgers minus 120 home favorites, eight in the hook being the total. 10-10 Eastern, 7-10 Pacific, last game on the card. These two teams close in the standings, could come down really to the last day. The Padres playing better baseball, though. You know, coming into Thursday night, I'm, I'm doing this video going into uh, actually the Wednesday action. So I don't know how the Wednesday game's um, finished. I am on the Padres, but they have won five straight going into Thursday night, nine of ten. The Dodgers not playing as good a baseball. But really, the starting pitching angle, I think, favors the Padres here. Back-to-back, six inning, blanking the opponent for Musgrove his last two times out. Whereas Walker Bueller, the 30-year-old out of Vanderbilt, over a 5-5 ERA and FIP for the season. He gave up four earned runs and in five innings at home against the Rockies. The start before that, he had five walks against the Braves. Now he's up against the number two lineup in all of baseball against righties. I think the Padres get to him here, guys. Plus 110, risk 100 to win 110. I think the underdog is barking. We're jumping on the Padres over the Dodgers Late night action on the diamond. In recap, we got the Athletics. Pick them price tag over the Rangers. And the Brewers, minus 115. That's the best bet for the show. College football, we're on Army, minus 12 over Temple. And the New York football Giants, plus five in the hook over the Dallas Cowboys. Guys, that does it for Drew's Daily Diamond on Thursday. We'll be back with Friday's show, hitting football and baseball as well. We got Saturday and Sunday coming your way, so stay stay tuned for that, guys. Smash that like button, comment below, cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning